Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about cat Leia care. In this video, I'll share with you some history, basic care tips, and some common problems with growing cat Leas. Cat Leas have been our specialty since our founder, Maury, started creating his own hybrids in the early 80s. We're in his breeding house right now, where over the years he created more than 2,000 new hybrids, which only about 10% get selected for cloning. Hybridizing of this orchid species started over 100 years ago, which has led this group to have a wide range of shapes, colors, and sizes. Bloom size ranges from 2.5 inches to 5 inches in size. With its recognizable large and fragrant blooms, this variety was once a very popular orchid. However, as nature would intend it, having fragrant blooms does have a trade-off. Fragrant blooms attract pollinators quickly and therefore less time is needed for pollination to occur. Therefore, their blooms don't last as long as other orchid varieties. Growing conditions are similar to other orchids. Cattleyas need bright, filtered sunlight. Their leaves are stiff and more rigid, but they still can't handle direct sunlight. Here's an example of sunburn. Watering one to two times a week is sufficient as these plants have pseudobulbs to help store water and much larger roots. Each season, cattleyas give off new shoots or growths. Off of this new growth is where the leaf will develop and where the next flower will potentially grow. Once a flower develops here, it will not produce a bloom again from this leaf. Cattleyas don't produce blooms from old leaves. Over multiple seasons, because growth is lateral, it allows for this variety to easily be divided. Once grown to maturity, cattleyas are pretty hardy. However, the time it takes to get from baby to adult is a little longer, about five years, over a typical orchid that takes about three years. So patience and care is needed, but it is so worth it. This is the growth potential of a cattleya orchid. Here is one of our breeding plants in a 10 inch pot. Five spikes and 25 blooms. One tip for cattleyas is to note that bloom color changes over time. Some varieties are more significant than others. Blooms tend to open up a shade lighter at the beginning and as the flower matures, the color deepens with exposure to light. Now I will show you how to trim the flower. Remember, always use clean shears as to not spread disease between your plants. Cattleya flowers have short stems. If you want to cut your blooms for displaying in a small bud vase, you want to cut here at the base of the leaf, not here. Cutting below the flower stem is removing this strong, healthy lead growth. If it was a good bloomer that produces buds with each growth, the plant would be set back in producing a new shoot. For more information on how to pot up and divide your cattleya, see our other videos. No matter how clean you keep your greenhouse, pests are always around, even for us. A couple common problems that arise with cattleyas are scales and thrips, especially during the warm summer months. Scales look like this and form a shell around themselves. Under these hardened shells are where the adults will lay their eggs. The babies are small and undetectable. On cattleyas, they are found on the underside of the leaves or inside the sheath that protects the pseudobulbs. Damage to the leaf will show up as yellow patches. Treat them with insecticidal soap or isopropyl alcohol. Be sure to spray the scales and use a rag to dislodge the shell completely. Multiple treatments may be necessary to be sure that the next generations don't repopulate your plant. Another common pest for cattleyas are thrips. They're the hardest to combat because they're hard to see with the naked eye and they also fly. You'll notice their presence by the scarring of flower tissue. They use their mouth parts to suck the sap. Once they attack the bud or bloom, the damage is permanent for the lifetime of that flower. Prevention of thrips is key since completely getting rid of them is nearly impossible. If you do see them, you can treat with insecticidal soap and malathion 
as well as other insecticides that are specific for thrips. For more information on orchid pests, we've included the link to this video and related Cattleya videos below. We hope this care video has helped you to learn more about Cattleyas and to care for yours for years to come. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care and I'll see you next time.